Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given cantilever beam using Macaulay's method and according to the method we have to calculate slope and deflection in terms of EI at the free end. It means we have to calculate the location C deflection as well as the rotation using the Macaulay's method. Now this section is taken in the last one but we have given the cantilever beam. So, if we take the section at location in between A to B and taking origin at location C, then the distance from location C, which is as a x meter, but according to the rule, we have to cut the UDL by the section. So, For that, we have to increase the value of UDL up to this span as a and the same amount is deducted so that our section is cutting the UDL of the value 30 kilo Newton per meter. So, for using the cantilever beam, if we take a origin at the right hand side, so we have to apply a positive UDL and negative UDL in between A to B up to the section first. Now for this section if we take a moment at location of section then the moment is 30 into total distance as a x into x by 2 in the clockwise direction. So our moment at location x which is 30 into x into x by 2 as a 30 x square by 2 and sectional right hand side clockwise moment is treated as a negative and the rest value is upward UDL up to the span total x minus 3. So the bottom UDL is of x minus 3 meter span. It creates the anticlockwise moment and sectional right hand side anticlockwise moment is treated as a positive and the value is 30 as a UDL x minus 3 as a total load into square by so, for this case, our moment is minus 30 x square by 2 plus 30 by 2 into x minus 3 all square. Now, let us use the elastic equation which is Ei d square y by dx square which is equal to minus m. Now, value of minus m is as we calculated but we have to multiply minus in this term. So, our value is Now, first we are going to integrating this term, we will have Ei into dy by dx which is equal to 15x cube by 3 plus C1 as an integration constant 15 into x minus 3 square as a x minus 3 all cube by 3. Now, again integrating this term, we will have Ei into y, now 15 x cube as a x raised to 4 by 4 and in denominator we have 3 so our value is 12 plus c1 into x plus second integration constant as a c2 and 15 now x minus 3 all cube as a x minus 3 raised to 4 divided by 4 into 3 as a 12. So equation A is for the slope while equation B is for the deflection. Now for the C1 and C2 as a integration constant we have to apply the boundary condition and we know that at the fixed support our deflection as well as the rotation both the value is 0 and the location A is at distance 5 meter from our origin. So we have to apply the boundary condition in this equation to calculate C1 and C2. So let us going for the calculation of C1 and C2 using boundary condition as now using first boundary condition which is when x equal to 5 meter from the origin it means at location A our slope value is 0 so from equation A our slope is 0 now value of x as a 5 so value is 15 
phi cube by 3 plus c1. Now, if we put the value of x as a 5 meter, then the value is 5 minus 3 as a 2 cube divided by 3. So, calculating this term, we will have the value of c1 which is equal to minus 585. So, using first boundary condition, we will have constant c1 as a 585. Now, if we use the second boundary condition, which is while x equal to 5 meter at location A, our deflection is also 0, then EIY as a 0, now 15, x as a 5, so 5 raised to 4, divided by 12, plus, now C1 value is minus 585, and x is put as a 5 meter, plus C2, now x minus 3, 5 minus 3 as a 2, so, value is 2 raised to 4 divided by 12. Now, solving this term, we will have our value for C2 is 2163.75. So, using boundary condition, we will have the value of C1 as well as C2 as a integration constant. So, let us put this value in equation A and B and reform the final equation as here the slope equation is EI now dy by dx as a theta which is equal to 15 x cube by 3 now plus C1 which is equal to minus 585 so it is minus 585 t to x minus 3 cube divided by 3. While our deflection equation is EIY which is equal to 15 x raised to 4 divided by 12 minus C1x as a minus 585x plus C2 which is 2163.75 and the value of UDL as a 15 x minus 3 raised to 4 by 12. So, equation 1 and equation 2 is for slope and deflection respectively. Now, we have to calculate the deflection at location C as well as slope at location C. And we have taken the origin exactly at location C. So, we have to put the value as a x which is 0 in both the equation we will have now for equation 1 if we put the x equal to 0 we will get the slope at location c now x is 0 hence the first term is 0 second value is minus 585 and the next value is x minus 3 so 0 minus 3 as a minus 3 and according to Macaulay's method, if we put x value and x minus a terms is less than 0, then we have to ignore wall term. Hence, the value for ei theta c is minus 585. So, the slope at location c is 585 by ei in terms of kilonewton meter square and the minus value indicates that the slope is in anticlockwise direction. Now for deflection at location C, we have to put x equal to 0 in equation 2. We will have EIYC which is equal to now 15 0 raised to 4 as a 0 minus 585 into 0 as a 0. Constant value is 2163.75 and 0 minus 3 as a minus 3. So we have to ignore this term and our deflection value at location C which is 2163.75 by EI in terms of kilo newton meter cube. So, thus we can calculate the slope and deflection using Macaulay's method for the cantilever beam. Thank you.